Good morning, Senator. Good morning. How are you? Well, we're doing just fine and glad to have you on the air, sir. Senator, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, uh, your past. You spent uh, in the House, what, 10 years? Right. And then moved on into the Senate for 24 years, correct? Right. Okay. How were you able to get into the leadership position of Senate Majority Leader? Is that just based on seniority? No, I didn't want to be the Deputy Majority Leader. Uh, when it was first approached, I finally caved in. I didn't want to be uh, Majority Leader any time during my uh, eight terms, eight two-year terms. Uh, but uh, when uh, Dick Russell and uh, Lyndon Johnson and uh, John Kennedy put the pressure on me, I uh, gave in. I must admit in all candor, reluctantly, I didn't seek the job, didn't want it. I was satisfied being a senator from Montana. Did you find that once you were placed in that leadership position, it was quite a responsibility? Did you rather enjoy it once you were there? It was quite a responsibility. I uh, enjoyed it up to a point, but my uh, first priority was always Montana because I thought what was good for Montana was good for the nation. And uh, I found that uh, the, uh, the job was uh, quite difficult, uh, the majority leader's job. Uh, it took more time, and uh, during that uh, period, uh, uh, we all we had uh, Democratic majorities for the eight terms. Senator Mansfield, uh, once you left the Senate, uh, did you spend some time relaxing, or did you go on to Japan right away? No, I spent a couple of months in Florida, uh, re relaxing for the first time in decades. Came back to Washington. The president uh, wanted to know if I would be interested in an ambassadorship to Mexico, and I said, no. Uh, would I consider an ambassadorship to Japan? I said, I'd talk it over with my wife, a former Butte girl, and we decided to uh, take the job uh, after much thought and consideration. And how long were you in Japan as the ambassador there? Almost 12 years. And uh, was it everything you thought it would be? Did you enjoy it? Uh, about what I anticipated, I had been to Japan previously. I understood the importance of the country economically. Uh, I uh, realized that uh, the future lied, uh, lay in the Pacific uh, Basin, and that includes East Asia, North and South America, uh, Australia, and uh, New Zealand. And uh, I thought maybe we could make a contribution to help the development of the region. Okay. Yeah. Are you surprised at all by uh, recent developments in that country and some others? Uh, things were doing very, very well for Japan over the years, and, and just recently they've taken some... some... Are you surprised by that? Uh, no, it was about time because they had uh, already passed five or six uh, stimulus packages. And seeking to revive the economy, uh, the figures uh, uh, appropriated amounted to about six hundred uh, billion dollars, and uh, they uh, all succeeded uh, very temporarily and then failed. And now this is the big one, and they're going after the banks. They're trying to make uh, their assets and liabilities more transparent. They're trying to face up to realities for the first time. And a great deal of the future of East Asia and even the rest of the world will depend upon the success of the present program. It sounds good as it's been reported, but uh, we haven't seen the details yet uh, deeply enough, and the devil is in the details. So we'll see what happens, but I'm encouraged at this time. Uh, Senator, you uh, since you left uh, the ambassadorship to Japan and came back to the United States, you're you're not sitting around, are you? You still go to work every day. No, I'm working at Goldman Sachs, keeping up with uh, Japan and the Far East as a consultant, and uh, doing a job that uh, I would have been doing anyway in a more limited way, but with. Uh, uh, Goldman Sachs, I have access to much more in the way of materials and can keep more up to date. I, I, we haven't mentioned your age. Do we dare mention that? Is that because you are at your age? 
Oh, was that? I say, do we dare say how old you are? Uh, 95. For heaven's sake, what do you attribute the success to still being as active as you are at that age? I didn't get it. I say, what do you attribute uh, to your uh, uh, still being as active as you are at your age? Is this something that uh, maybe your father had in, in him or what? No, uh, my father and mother were Irish immigrants. And I guess I came from Stock, Mansfield. Uh, I guess if you uh, parse, that's the word now, parse it down, uh, means uh, man in the field, uh, peasant, farmer. And I've had the good fortune to uh, marry a girl from Butte who has uh, pushed me and pressured me into uh, whatever I've been able to achieve since our marriage 67 years ago. At, at 95 years old, anything in your diet that uh, anything in your diet that you eat that keeps you doing so well? What say? I say I'm wondering what you eat on a daily basis uh, to be as young as you are at 95. Oh, just uh, working along. Uh, having good luck, uh, evidently eating the right kind of foods and, uh, not worrying about the future, not dwelling on the past, just living in the present and taking things a uh, day at a time. Senator Mansfield, are you surprised at all by developments in Washington the last couple of years? Very surprised, very disappointed, and, uh, very much concerned about the individuality and the uh, loss of cohesion, partnership, collegiality in the Congress. Where do you think this is all headed, do you know? Don't know, but maybe things will come to a head after the election and the uh, present difficult situation in which the president finds himself uh, will be uh, settled in some way and uh, we'll be back maybe perhaps to a degree of normalcy, but at the present time, it's a perhaps and not a possibility or a probability. Senator Mansfield, you have had an opportunity to meet an awful lot of uh, influential people. John Kennedy comes to, to mind. Are there two or three events or people that stand out in your mind that you recall? Yes, I think the best senator that I recall was Senator Phil Hart of Michigan. Uh, the best speaker I recalled was uh, Sam Rayburn of Texas. And the best leaders I recalled were uh, uh, George Mitchell, the Democrat, uh, Howard Baker, the Republican, and Bob Dole, the Republican. And uh, above all of them, I would put uh, another Republican, uh, Everett Dirksen of Illinois, who was the minority leader while I was majority leader, but we worked very closely together and were able to accomplish a great deal. Senator, were you surprised at uh, Bob Dole's run for the presidency? Uh, he, he was not successful. Did that surprise you? Uh, not, so, not surprised. They dwelled on his age. Uh, I think uh, it affected his campaign. Uh, what they should have done was to uh, compare him with me, some 20 or 25 years older, still operating, and, can, and uh, realize that he was young enough, if he had won, to uh, have been a good president. Senator Mansfield, uh, uh, finally, I guess, uh, where do you see uh, uh, your career uh, coming to an end? Are you going to keep working as long as you, as long as you can? Yep. We're going to keep working as long as I can, take things as they come. Uh, don't worry about uh, uh, too much. Be aware of what's happening today. Remember what's happened in the past. I'm looking to a better future for our country and the world. Senator, certainly pleased that you could join us for a few minutes this morning, and we want to wish you and your wife the very best. The same to you, and give the uh, folks in my hometown of Great Falls my best, and the people of Montana in general, my thanks and appreciation.